Hey, welcome back to the channel. We have got something new and exciting today. Uh, you guys may remember in the past that we had partnered with Hardy's uh, Manufacturing out of South Carolina. They make a full line of implements and uh, you probably have seen our rotary cutter, uh, rotary cutter? Rotary cutter uh, videos and then the box blade videos where we're building our shop. Well, this is another uh, new tool that we have uh, in our, our arsenal for the Tratcher. We have got the Brush Tiger mounted on the TYM 474, the T474. And this is probably one of the most awesome uh, tools that we've ever had on our, on our tractors. It's gonna be, uh, open up so many avenues for us as far as how we can maintain our trails and our farm and just mowing all different kind of situations. Let me show you around. This is the 36 inch brush tiger. Uh, this brush tiger runs off of a self-contained hydraulic pump in the rear of the tractor. Uh, it runs off the PTO of the tractor, so you're not stressing your tractor's hydraulics. Some of these cutters that are mounted on the front of the uh, loader, they're running off the tractor hydraulics, and the, most tractors do not have the cooling capacity necessary you know, for long longevity. It's gonna break your tractor down. This runs off of the PTO and all tractors are made to have the PTO run continuously. So let me show you a little bit about this. Uh, this thing articulates up and down and the loader raises up and down. Now you have to be safe with this. I want to point this out. Uh, this thing can, if you, don't, if you don't use it properly, it will throw stuff at you. So you have to be smart about it. Read the, read the manual. This thing is awesome, but it also can throw things at you. So be careful. Never, never, never do you want to mow with it like this where the blades are aimed at you. You never want to back up. You always want to mow with it flat or at an angle like this. And you can also do ditch banks, sides of roads. Now I'm doing this left-handed, so let's see if I can show you. All right. You can do like mow the sides of ponds. Uh, just so flexible with what you can do. And the fact that it runs off the hydraulics of your tractor, or not, not off the hydraulics of your tractor, but its own self-contained uh, hydraulic system that it, it's gonna keep the tractor's longevity. You're not wearing your oil out or your hydraulic pump out on your tractor. Let's show you around this thing. So this uses replaceable blades. Uh, these are, are, like I said, just three foot bush. It's just a three foot bush hog is what it is. It's a three foot rotary cutter. So these are replaceable. You can, if you, if you tear these up, these are, you know, part numbers on them, you can just order them. All right, I wanna talk about this right here. This is the counterweight system. This is an option. Uh, this is a 150 pound counterweight that helps balance this thing out. You don't necessarily need it. The, the 474 really doesn't need it. Uh, it's strong enough that it, it just doesn't really matter. But I got the counterweight because I just didn't really know what the future might bring. So. This thing is an additional cost, but you know what? It's still gonna cause it to be balanced out. It's just up to you on that. But I just wanna point out this piece here is an option. Uh, the tilt cylinder here runs off your third function of your tractor. And like I said, everything else is plumbed in to the back of the tractor. Let me show you the, the, the hoses. So here's the, the main lines that are run to the back of the tractor. They, they're just run up the edge of the arm. 
they come down here and they're quick connect. I've just got them tied into the loader. So you can, when you take the loader off or you disconnect it, this is really, it's all quick connect. These are high flow. So these hoses run down and then up under the tracher and you know, you can still put the back on it. It doesn't get in the way of anything. So let's take you around back here. All right, so my hydraulic lines run up onto the tractor and they come out the back here and run up to my rollover protection system. This is just where I wanted it mounted. Uh, my roller protection system folds it up and down and this gives it the flexibility so I can actually fold this down and still put it in my shop and all of this is flexible. These stay with the tractor and then there's a disconnection. All the connections are over here. These are all quick connect. So you can take this on and off. Now I don't have this plugged up just yet. Uh, I do have it fixed. I have this to a power source uh, on the tractor that, that just comes on when you turn the tractor on and off. So I still have not wired this up or zip tied this all together, but this is its own cooling fan that cools the hydraulics in the summer. And then it runs a uh, PTO pump directly off of, or pump directly off the PTO, as you can see back here. So they really kind of thought everything out. Uh, like I said, the 474, the T474 is really heavy tractor and it, it doesn't really, it's just, it really doesn't matter. It's heavy enough, it doesn't really need any counterbalance. But if you do need some counterbalance, it already has, it's already set up for suitcase weights. You can put, I think six suitcase weights or maybe it's four, I can't remember. But anyway, you can put suitcase weights back here and uh, add, add you an additional ballast behind the tractor. In addition to this, this is heavy. It's a heavy built thing. And so, but you can add more weights. So I've got my cooling fan on the back. I don't know if you can hear that going. It's humming back there. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna tell you guys, do not do this. Uh, do not, this is, this is just for demonstration. This is a very safe environment. There's no one around. Camera's way off, she's zooming in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and I want you to see the, prope or the propellers. I want you to see the rotary cutter go around and around. So here we go. I'm at a low idle. Going around. There we go, it takes a second. So there you go. The uh, I think we you know we've we've done enough talking. I, I will give you a, a more in-depth uh, demonstration of this thing in the future and let you know what I think. But I want to cut something up. Let's go cut something up.
All right, what do you think? I'm impressed with it so far. I mean, obviously that's not enough to get a true impression of it, but uh, I was able to knock down the limbs off of the tree that I was uh, cutting off or trimming and then turn it over and mulch all that up without ever having to get off the tractor. And I can see after getting proficient with it that I will be able to use the the loader to really fine tune and do some pretty pretty and uh, you know pretty intense um, mowing in, in, in some tight spaces that I couldn't do otherwise with a with a rotary cutter of any other type. Uh, first impressions, this is awesome. Obviously, this is not enough time to make a real educated decision, but I think I think uh, I think uh, Hardy's got a winner here. So let's carry it down the street. We're gonna put it up, you know, put it to a real test. Come on.
Things we do for the shot. So first impression, this thing's pretty amazing. I still don't have the skill set down yet. I think after some training and and just some more seat time with it, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's built really well. Everything just worked perfectly. I think the uh, only short thing now is uh, my skill set. Hey, God bless and have a great day.